you're an embarrassment to the family. You're just making up excuses to skip medical school. And now you're hospitalized with a stupid cold. Mom, I'm not skipping school. I'm just absent because I can't go. The doctor says I need to rest for a while. That's what I'm saying. You need to toughen up. Listen, it's us parents paying for school. Us. Stop playing hooky and just go to school. When you become a doctor in the future, you'll be treating patients with more serious illnesses. Someone like you is so weak-hearted. You get hospitalized for a trivial cold. Do you think you can be a great doctor like your father and grandfather? I can't say for sure since the test results aren't in yet but there's a good chance it's not just a common cold. Besides, a common cold is nothing to scoff at. If it gets worse, it could kill you. Just be quiet. I don't need excuses. Get out of the hospital right now. You have to go to school tomorrow. I can't do that. The test results aren't in yet, and I'm in real pain. I don't need you to make up excuses. You're really unbelievable crying over something like a little cold. I'm gonna ask your father to get you discharged from the hospital. I don't think he can do that either. I'm not at dad's hospital. What? Why not? Because I knew this would happen. Don't tell me you think your father is stupid. He's a great doctor. Our hospital has been in existence since my great-grandfather's time. How dare you, the eldest daughter, deny your family's hospital. <laughs> Come to think of it, you've always been a rebel. If I hadn't advised you to take a science course in high school to become a doctor, you would have gone on to the liberal arts and end up getting low scores on your science test. Because of that, you wouldn't have been able to go to the top medical school in our country and ended up going to a lower-ranked school. Why don't you take a cue from your sister and work harder? Do you enjoy portraying me and your father? Aren't you ashamed of being the eldest daughter of our family? I'm not ashamed at all. I didn't get low marks in science subjects on purpose. It's because I just didn't have the aptitude for it and couldn't remember. I was interested in the humanities, and I did very well in those subjects. Isn't it natural to want to go for a course that you are interested in and have an aptitude for? <laughs> That's you. You don't reflect even a little on your lack of effort. And yet, you are the eldest daughter of a family of doctors. Don't you feel sorry for losing to your spare your sister? I'm not going to do this anymore because it's making me sick. I'll call you when I get the test results. Hey, Nelly! Wait a minute! Nelly! What do you mean you're dropping out of med school? You saw the test results, right? I need long-term hospitalization and treatment. You've only been there less than a year! I thought you were skipping school because of a temporary illness, and now you're dropping out? Oh my god. Our family has been a family of doctors for generations. You're the eldest daughter in this family and you drop out the moment you enter medical school. What are you thinking? Considering the pace of my recovery, I don't think I'll be able to advance because I won't have enough credits. When I told this to Dad, he said no one in our family has ever repeated a year. He said he'd rather I drop out than stay in school. I don't have a choice now. You had a quack doctor write you a fake medical report anyway. The only reason you didn't enter your father's hospital was so you could fake an illness. <sighs> you still don't believe me about my illness even after seeing the test results. I'm your own daughter, after all. And you suspect me of faking illness before worrying about me? It's your attitude that's wrong. Besides, 
my great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, just because they're all doctors. Don't you think it's not necessary to make me give up on what I want to do and become a doctor? Listen, you. Of course. Even a layman can see that being a doctor is really hard work, and it's a profession that I can truly respect. But I've just realized that whether or not it's a profession I want to pursue is another matter. Even if I became a doctor, I wouldn't be able to do much. If I mess up, I might make a medical mistake and cause trouble. That means I would tarnish the reputation of a hospital with a long history. I know it sounds bad, but I'm glad I had the opportunity to quit medical school. I've decided that once I'm cured, I'm going to do what I want to do the most. If that's the case, pay back all the expenses you have incurred up to now from the time you started college. Yeah, I promised to transfer all the money to father's account within a year of release from the hospital. Huh? Do you know how much it costs to pay for medical school? It's not an amount of money you can come up with within a year. I've already decided what I'm going to do. It's not a problem. I'll get paid. And if you get paid, that means you work. A mere high school graduate. Oh, I can't believe you are a high school graduate from a family of dignified doctors. You're disowned. You don't belong to this family anymore. That's what I had already intended. Instead of worrying about my illness, you call me a hypochondriac. You're the kind of person who tries to twist people's lives the way you want just because they are your daughter. I don't even want to think of you as a parent. What did you just say? I've already asked movers to move the rest of my stuff that's at the house. What? What do you think you're doing? If you throw anything away of a value, I'll make you reimburse me. What the? I didn't expect you to anyway, but you don't have to come visit me. I'll take care of the hospitalization and the cancellation of university by myself. You don't need to bother. Well then, goodbye. Nelly, I hope you're okay now. I had the stuff from your parents' house moved to my storage room. And your personal belongings from your locker at the university? If you need anything, I'll bring it to the hospital. Thanks, Nicholas. So far, we're not missing anything. I'm sorry I even asked you to be there for the movers. That's okay. But you even covered my hospital expenses. It's okay. You're finally free from the curse of your parents. I've decided to do everything necessary for that to happen, and I want to help. Right now, our top priority is to try to get you back on your feet as soon as possible. Thank you, Nicholas. Nicholas, have you finished your discussion? Yeah, we're done. I'm going home now. Do you think the wedding will be cancelled after all? Yeah, that's for sure now. I see. Hey, Nelly. That thing the groom asked me to do, it looks like I'll be there after all. I see. What about you? I mean, it's not completely unrelated, but you don't want to see them this way, do you? Even though it's been years, there's no way they'd have forgotten your face. If you want, I'll go alone. Don't worry. In a way, I feel like this could be a turning point for me as well for the future. I understand. I'm sure they've forgotten what I look like. They haven't contacted me since then, and I don't think they're interested in me. Well, I'm the one who told them not to contact me. But I still have a bad feeling about this. I hope it doesn't get you in trouble. You're the one who's getting in trouble, aren't you? I'll be fine. Come home soon. I'll have dinner waiting for you. Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean? I just passed you, right, Nelly? There's no way I could have mistaken your poor, cocky face. 
Why is an incompetent loser who dropped out of medical school here? Oh, hi. It's been eight years. Hey, you do realize this is a wedding hall, right? Your sister's wedding. But I didn't invite you. I mean, you're not supposed to be here. Get the hell out of here. No, I can't do that. What? Wait, did you just come here pretending to be Natalie's sister? It's so embarrassing. Don't just show up at our family's wedding. We've decided that our failure of a daughter doesn't exist. The outcast of the family is a distraction to the wedding, so go home now. I don't care if I am a failure or not, as long as you don't get in our way. What? Oh, you work at this wedding hall, don't you? I can't believe you're working at a place like this, even though you insulated yourself with such bravado. Well, I'm going to use you as a guest here today, you know. Shall I have you polish my shoes first? Oh, I'm wearing a dress today, so I had to wear something else. Too bad. Oh, you didn't hear anything, did you? Huh? I'm not a member of the wedding staff. Then what? You'll find out in a little while, but it's not something I'm allowed to discuss. What? Excuse me. If you say you're working at this wedding hall now, then you're one of the staff members, no matter how you look at it. I guess when you've fallen so low, lying becomes the norm. Oh, but you have always been a liar who uses a fake illness all the time. I can't believe you were born as the eldest daughter of our family of doctors. Oh, what a pity. What's going on? Natalie was having an affair? How could you cancel your sister's wedding with such a fabricated story? You infiltrated the wedding staff to do that. Besides, from the look of things, why are you on the groom's side? You're a failure and I had to hide your presence from the groom. What were you looking at earlier? I'm not a member of the wedding staff. But... Don't tell me you're a lawyer. Not exactly. Of course you aren't. There's no way an incompetent like you could be a lawyer. I'm currently working at a law firm and studying to become a lawyer. The one who was sitting next to the groom for the discussion was my husband, who is a licensed attorney. Huh? You're married? And your husband is a lawyer? Are you insane to use that husband to come and ruin your only sister's wedding? The groom asked me to do this, so I'm afraid that's quite a misnomer to put it that way. Why bother with this today? There was an explanation at the ceremony. Did you really not hear it? Or are you incapable of understanding something inconvenient, even if you hear it? Oh, come on! What? I only found out about the bride's affair three days ago. The groom wanted to settle the matter before the wedding. He suddenly consulted with my lawyer husband, who was an invited guest on the groom's side, to be present at the discussion. I was there because I was the groom's friend and the bride's sister. The affair was found out three days before. Is that why none of the invited guests showed up? Yes. I didn't get the details on how and when they were contacted, but it seems the wedding was cancelled in advance. Wait a minute. So you're saying that Natalie was having an affair with a resident at another hospital? Is it true? Not made up? That's what we've been saying all along. All this time, it was a match made in heaven, marrying the next director of a city hospital. It seems that Natalie was attracted to him because of his title. I'm sure the family supported her marriage because it would have been good for father's hospital if they had gotten married. But you can't get away with anything, can you? As a result, she ended up disgracing her father's hospital, didn't she? What's with my daughters? You, the eldest, quit medical school to become a lawyer. And our second daughter, Natalie, who was our family's only hope, is ruining this good marriage. Oh, God. 
Why do you guys always betray your family like this? I've talked to Natalie since then. She said I was just imitating mom. What? You betrayed your family too, right? It's your fault. Take responsibility. Huh? Your father says he wants a divorce. Oh, I see. Good job. Why are you so calm? I'm about to be divorced by your father. Can't you feel just a little sorry for me? I don't feel sorry for you. I feel like things are finally falling into place in the right way. I just found out about the 20 plus year affair. They even did a DNA test on Natalie and dad. I heard the results showed no parent-child relationship between the two of them. It's already progressed that far? My father contacted me himself. He said he wanted me to do it too, just to be sure, so I took the DNA test. Well? I was confirmed to be related to my father. Right? You're your father's biological daughter. Why did you panic for a moment? Because... You have an idea, don't you? Well, it's none of my business now. Hey, hey, I'm sure my father will investigate and clarify everything. What investigation? Don't be so nonchalant. Try to talk to your father out of it. Wouldn't you be sad if your parents got divorced? I'm not sad. My father told me that he can't ask me to forgive him for the way he treated me but he at least wants to apologize, and he's sorry. I take this as an apology for his reaction to learning that I am the only child related to him. I told my father that, and he ended the conversation. You don't even apologize, you just keep talking about yourself. You've always been like that. Well, um, if we get divorced, can Natalie and I move in with you? I can't do that. Why not? I'll reverse the disownment, and it's your duty as the eldest daughter to help your mother and sister. I don't have to do that. I mean, I don't want to. I already live with my husband's parents. What? Besides, my husband's parents are a family of lawyers. I don't want my ex-mother and ex-sister, who have a lot of problems, to move in with them. I don't want to have to deal with that kind of trouble. But, you know, what about mother-in-law problems? I don't have to worry about that. My husband's parents are intelligent and kind people, unlike you. Unlike me? Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Unlike you and Natalie. Huh? Okay, I forgive you for saying that. But you are my blood and bones daughter, no matter what you say. Blood ties are important, aren't they? You betrayed my father over this blood thing, and now you're telling me that? That's, well, that's another matter. Please shut up. I have no intention of accepting you and Natalie, no matter what you say. But, Nellie, we can't pay the compensation. Excuse me. Just wait a second. Oh, come on. I haven't finished talking yet. <coughs> then just give me some money. You have to help your mom and sister. Hey, you! Don't tell me you blocked me! My ex-mom was divorced by my father and kicked out of the house with my sister, who was not his biological child. My ex-mother and ex-sister's compensation for the wedding costs was paid in one lump sum, relying on my ex-mother's family, and they moved in with my ex-mother's family. They are working hard every day to pay back the money they borrowed for the compensation, while her elderly parents nagged at them. However, the ex-mother, who had never gotten out of the habit of spending lavishly in the rich doctor's family, wasted her salary. They are also about to be evicted from my ex-mother's parents' house. My husband has been busy for a while with my ex-sister's divorce proceedings and cleaned up the mess. Once things settled down, 
We moved out and never saw those troublesome people again. I am in the midst of studying hard for the bar exam for lawyers next month. I want to escape the curse of my parents' family and walk away as a full fledged lawyer. Thank you for watching! Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel! See you in the next video!